G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Av Trace here from Team Trace's Current, TC Tackle, Eastside Threads and BCF Chatswood. Um, we're here today in BCF Chatswood. We're doing a $100 fishing challenge. We're going to try and deck ourselves out with as much gear as we can for 100 bucks. Head out tomorrow morning and see if we can catch some fish on it. I'm just here to basically prove to you guys that you can fish on a budget. You don't need the best of the best gear just to catch fish. Um, and yeah, I feel like $100 is a pretty cheap price to get out and get out with the family and go fishing. So we'll get into it. I've got my little man here and we're ready to get into some fishing. What are we looking for? Uh, I'm fishing tackle right now, I'm going fishing tackle right now. What have you got there, buddy? What is it? Uh, crabs. 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 <laughs> um, I going fishing tackle. Going fishing tackle. Going fishing tackle. I going this one. All right, everyone, this is Jono, store manager at BCF Chatswood. He's going to give me a hand today. We're going to listen to him and see what he recommends to spend just $100 on the gear we need. So what do you reckon first up, man? 100 bucks. I think we should head over to the second aisle here and grab a die with D-Shock. So die with D-Shock, nice Japanese brand. Perfect little combo. That's for starting out or a cheap little fun little, little activity. That's all you're going to need. That's pretty good to me. But you also need some braid. To go with it, crumb was six pounds, so nice and sensitive for all the smaller fish, but also nice and strong. For some leader, some mono, can't, cope up, can't go past the Berkeley Pro Spec. Nice and cheap, but also very, very strong. So while Jono is spooling up the rod with the braid on it, I've just been to the bargain bin and I've got the gulp shrimp in two inch. Um, I've got them in pink belly and I've got them in peppered prawn as well. Um, and I've just grabbed some 128 TT hidden weight jig heads, the new ones, um, hook size two. So basically these are my staple for catching brim. Um, uh -huh. And what are you doing yeah, finding those so cheap was good as well. It's always worth having a look in the bargain bins here because there's heaps of cool stuff in there. More gear. I don't think we need any more. You need this one. All right. The ball as well. So including the ball, that is a hundred and five dollars or less. Hundred and five bucks. I can definitely do that. I need it. I need it. So there is fishing full set up for 105 bucks just a little bit over budget but not bad i think see you guys Righto, we just got into the boat ramp. Um, it's cold, wet and windy, uh, which we need the rain at the moment. We haven't had it for a while, but it just had to be on the day that I was going fishing. So um, we're going to head out there. We've got our $100 challenge going, got the rod, got the lures, all the line, everything like that. So pretty pretty keen to get into it. Um, the rod actually looks kind of good. I was totally prepared to be spending sort of that 30 to $40 mark on a kid's rod or something that would get the job done. But we've actually found a rod that is pretty good um the Daiwa D shock is pretty pretty decent little looking rod so we'll get into it hopefully there's some fish out here today and hopefully the rain stops for a little bit it can rain after i get to work this afternoon i don't care about that but not right now please so let's get into it hopefully there's fish
guys, so I've just rigged up, just got to my first spot. It's not my usual first spot, but I saw the depth of some of these boats here and I thought I can't not flick them while we go across. Um, got my rod, D-Shark, uh, rigged up, ready to go with that uh, Berkeley leader, um, 128 jig head and my uh, prawns in peppered prawn. Um, very excited to get this underway. Can't wait to see how this uh, reel handles a big brim. It's, it feels a decent rod, so that's the main thing. Like As I said, I thought we are going to end up with a kid's rod or something like that, which would have been fine. I mean, you can get the job done with it, but to have such a good rod was unexpected. But I guess these days you can make decent gear cheap. So we'll give it a go. Let's get into it. Might head over to this edge over here. Um, I don't usually fish edges with plastics, but I think at this high tide, different rod will actually, you know, we'll actually see if we can pull some fish out um, of areas I don't really fish and that sort of thing. Just to just to show you is that we can try new things and it still works. It's not just my repetitive motion of um, going to the my usual spots. Um, but yeah, as I said, this rod feels really good, like. It's short, like I'd use a seven foot usually, and this is only like just under six foot, but um, yeah, I'm really happy with it. The reel's nice. Drag feels nice. Day for it too. It's blowing an absolute hurricane at my house. It's dead here. Dave Fritt, as they say. Oh, that was a good bite. Oh, again. Oh, how many times do you want to miss it? Wow, that could have been the start of the dreamland if I wasn't. I wasn't stupid. There we go. Oh, that was a big one too. I saw it far out. Oh. Can't get the hooks in them. Oh, there's so many fish under that boat, man. So many fish. Oh, there's a bite. One of them hit it. One of them hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Yep. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, the D-Shock, the D-Shock gets the job done. There was so many fish under that boat, like a ridiculous amount of fish under that boat. And as soon as I threw it in, I saw them all swim to it, but it hit it once and then nothing. Only just pinned. But it's a fish. Look at that, eh? <laughs> the D shark. Look at me getting all excited after catching one fish. It's the most fun I've had in a long time. That wind's starting to get up now, though. It's a bit scary. Oh, I missed it. 
Oh, put the hooks in, Amarin. Far out. Come on. Oh, you. Oh, yep. Give you a bit of an update on where I'm at right now. I've caught one fish, got a lot of bites, a lot of bites. I just can't put the hooks in them because they're up shallow and I just probably chose a hook too small for this. Um, the weight's perfect. Um, also, that leader, wherever I put that, um, yeah, the perfect prospect leader is awesome. It's only mono, like I obviously I use fluoro, but that's only mono and it's awesome. It doesn't stretch a whole lot. It's yeah, very happy. Oh, there was a You are stupid. This one. No. Oh done me. So I've just pulled up on some pontoons here now. Um lost too many too many rigs on the edges. Um just with the oysters and things like that. So come over to the pontoons now and gonna have a throw with the pink belly gulp shrimp, which is there. Um, never used it before, so it should be interesting. Jono said it'd run good, so whatever he says, I'll, I'll sort of go with these days. I've got most of my trust in him. Um, he just tells me what to use and I execute it, I guess. This one straight away. Just a little one. Oh, these are right. Geez, this rod handles a fish all right, doesn't it? That gulp shrimp straight down the mouth. That's uh Pretty good, the drag on this did all right actually, so I don't know, I'm having a bit of fun now. Ow. Yep. That's a decent little fish. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> I promise I'm letting him go. <laughs> Mate, oh, you must be feeding it well. It's an absolute donk. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Go, okay, another one. That is a dog. There we go. Another one. Uh, another dink. But it's a fish, nonetheless. Choked that lure down. Go another one, little one. But how fun is this? Hey, how fun! Oh! So as you can probably see, we're being rained off the water. Um, I just got back to the boat ramp, but I thought I'd run through this pretty quickly. Daiwa G-Shock from BCF, like, exceeded my expectations by so much. Today, we caught heaps of fish, and this rod withstood so much hell from some of the fish. Um, 
So yeah, I'm genuinely surprised and it just goes to show like you don't have to have a massive budget. Like I've got about $3,000 worth of rods in here and I could do it with a $60 rod. Like I could do it all with just a bunch of $60 rods. It's it's really not that different to be completely fair. Like yes, there is advantages and disadvantages, but I don't see a whole lot of them. Um, if I can go out here in this weather and catch a bag of fish, I'm, you know, I'm pretty happy. So I think duck down to your local BCF store and all you need is $100. $100 is a night at the pub with the boys or, you know, a day out. Like just save that 100 bucks and get yourself a rod and reel. It's going to last a long time. Um, this one by far my recommendation as well as all the products you saw in there. So duck down to your local store or BCF Chatswood if you're in Sydney. Jono, Eliza will help you out so much in there. Um, they'll point you in the right direction to where um, all this sort of stuff is. And yeah, basically thank you to my sponsors, um, BCF Chatswood, TC Tackle, Eastside Threads, like you guys are the best. I couldn't do these videos without you. So um, on to the next video, I'm gonna go give this away to someone if there's someone out in this horrific weather, but um, yeah, thanks for watching guys. I really appreciate it. See ya.